Why don't you think they would want to hide that from people? Have you seen the photos of the crappy UFOs? No. They want to test us. Okay. Why is it so dark? The government doesn't want to help people, you know that, right? Yeah, but if the government wanted to help us, <laughs> if the government wanted to help us, they'd donate more money into schools and crap like that. Oh my god, did you just say you don't want them to fuck with the economy? You know, like all the stats that carry all the shit. You realize that life is about to go to shit? Pardon me? No, like, places are crashing right now. I've, okay, so this is actually, this is proven. If you go search up, every 80 years, a currency crashes. It's been 70-ish years since the last uh, one has crashed. The government is printing more money. Yeah. That is yeah. what makes it happen. And uh, money is getting worth less in America and Canada. They're printing more money. And once more money is printed, that economy crashes. That is what's happening. Because they printed so much money. Venezuela printed so much money. Mm -hmm. And America's money is getting worth less. And I could... And that is ruining the economy. Economy is all those stock markets. The stock markets come off of the government's money. If the government's money is worth less, those stock markets crash because their money is worthless. True. True. That's, that's true. A fucking coin. Literally yeah. anything. Metal. That's what happened. But nothing. People would have enough cash to live. You want to know something too cool? Before Abraham Lincoln brought the dollar bill into Canada, uh, Canada, America, just North America in general, people used to do trading, which trading was more ethical than money because you had to work for the government instead of working for yourself. The government only brought in the dollar so they could uh, have more control of their people. So, because they wanted a bit of what everyone else had. If you had a dollar, they could tax you for that money. But if you were trading before Abraham Lincoln brought the dollar into here, they couldn't do anything with that. But now they can tax you. You can't tax a chicken trading for a fucking pig. You can't. How do you tax that? If you don't pay money, you'll go to prison. But maybe yeah. I do. Money here is easier because we, as humans, were brought into the system, yes. But how, do you, how difficult do you think it was for the people switching to the dollar bill? Do you think it was different? They were using they were using stuff that they could trade with, like animals. They were trading sheep for pigs, pigs for cows. Your mother for my mother. 
Yeah, they were using that. They were using that uh, that stuff because they could build stuff with it. Gold could be used for um, teeth. You can make uh, makeshift teeth. You can make uh, you can make stronger weapons. Okay, iron works too. Yes. Gold isn't as dense as iron and diamonds. I'm pretty sure. Iron, iron's easier to get. Gold and iron are easier to get. The reason why uh, diamonds aren't as easy to get, get, that's why they're more expensive. The harder something is to get, the Hard. more cost. How is plastic made? Uh... Fun? Yeah, it's basically like, um... Out of dead dinosaurs. I don't know a lot about the dinosaurs topic. I have to ask my parents about that. Oh, actually, wait. Uh, fuck. Never mind. That point could be proven really fucking wrong. I was gonna make a point by saying one of the U.S. presidents lived before the first fossil was discovered, but people say fossils could be kept up for like 60 million years. So who knows when that dinosaur died? Pretty sure they're like 13 years ago. Well, there was something discovered like a really huge fucking like life system in a cave in like China. Ooh. And I mean, that was like humongous, bro. Among us, okay. I need to learn a lot more about topics, to be honest, because if I'm trying to start an argument with someone, I really need to be educated on that topic. I can't just go off of what I know about other people. Uh -huh. My father teaches me a lot of the stuff that I argue about, and then I use a little bit of my knowledge to argue. Fun. Arguments are only, like, some arguments are pity arguments, like, they're trying to, like, like, uh, uh, some people try to figure out, like, how you think. They'll start an argument. Like, in high school, some people will start arguments with smarter people. Uh, they'll get their other friends to go start arguments with people about something. And then what they'll do is they'll watch the argument and they'll see how that person thinks. Uh -huh. And then they combat it. And then they'll use their knowledge and then... My, my brother and my father... Mainly my brother. What he does, what he did in high school was, you know how a lot of smart people like talking. Yeah, I they like talk. They keep, ch they keep chip, 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 chip. My brother was a pretty smart person in like the knowledge sense. He knew a lot of things about government and like uh, how 9/11 was by George Bush himself, stuff like that. Gucci's gone. I can explain my topic on why 9 11 was uh, by George Bush. Uh, George? Okay. So, George Bush, do you know the Pentagon? You know what the Pentagon is, right? Yeah, of course. The building that the government agents live in. Yes. The Pentagon lost $2 trillion Ow. in 2003. Because they had to pay off debts to other countries, okay? And 2000, they didn't, oh, 2001, my bad. They didn't want 2001 to be known as the Pentagon mysteriously losing two trillion dollars, even though it was going to debts. So, you know what they did? Oh, God. The government didn't want to be looked upon bad, so they said, hey, fuck everyone. We're going to fucking fly planes into buildings. You want to know what George Bush was doing at the same day that... Uh, the planes, uh, the second plane hit the north building. What? 
he was reading a book to a kindergartner class. One of the CI, one of the secret agents or the CIA, came up to him, whispered in his ear. The North Tower is now owned by the second player. He uh, he gave zero emotion. You wanna know something coincidental too? All of the fucking, uh, all of the fucking, uh, um, all of the U.S. jets, like, their training, their schedules were all yeah. done for that day. Coincidentally, nothing was going on that day. Also, if a terrorist plane were to be taken over, signals would be sent to an uh, airport, which would be talking to the U.S. military, which would shoot the plane out of the sky. But how would that happen if terrorists don't control the plane, if they have control the pilot? There's, the there's always stuff. distress calls. There's always distress calls. How though? I don't know. Let's we'll figure it out a way. But if they knew a ter if they knew a plane was going off course into a fucking building where there is multi billionaires, the U.S. military, the U.S. Uh, Air Force would kill the terrorists before they could get even near that building. Okay, okay. Idea, How come that day when the U.S. Na uh, the U.S. Air Force just didn't do anything about it? How come they're so advanced, they didn't know a fucking plane was going to- Four planes were going to crash into a building. After the first plane crash, they should have been ready for more to come. But maybe the terrorists got lucky, and everyone was distracted with, like, with dinner lunch. Yeah, you're funny. I'm like, you know in 2001, that was literally America- That was their head podcast- Everyone knew, I mean everyone knew that that building got hit. It was yeah, immediately yeah. emergency broadcasting. Yeah, Twin Towers, right? The yeah. same thing, that's what blows my mind. The same day, the U.S. Air Force just decided to do, like, they were just like, oh no, it's our break day all of a sudden. We're not oh. going to do anything this wait, day. Wait, wait. The, the same Pentagon day the terrorist thing. attack happened. The Pentagon no, the Pentagon. Right? I'm pretty sure it was. It sure. was hit, but then the Twin Towers were also hit. Yes. How do you explain that? Uh, well, no, uh, the, okay, the Pentagon is like a smaller building, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure it wasn't one of the yeah. towers. Yeah, okay, so it's a smaller building. It might have got hit by debris. How would that happen? The Pentagon's all the way in Flipping, Washington, D.C., and the Twin Towers were in New York City. Explain Okay, that. I'm totally wrong, then. Okay, so the Pentagon could have got hit from something else. But all I'm saying was, my brother's taught me this, by the way, so if you want to go argue with him, argue yeah. with him. He's a lot more educated on this than me. I know. But, that's why people, that's why some of the smarter people, smarter individuals say George yeah. Bush, like, planned 9-11 because they were too embarrassed by losing $2 trillion of debt, which people say was mysterious. But then they lose more money by, by repairing the Pentagon. No, uh, they probably got hit by the Pentagon by something else. I don't know. I don't know and about that. It was that. a plane that hit the Pentagon. And I know that. Okay, it was probably a plane, not on the same day as 9 11, right? Yeah, it was. It was? Okay, I, I don't know that then. But I only know about the. I only know about the magical parts about the Twin Towers. People say Assad and Bin Laden was that. I don't know about Assad and Bin Laden. I can't give you an explanation about him. Yeah, I know. But all I, I know, know was, I'm pretty sure he was in Iran, protected by Afghanistan and Pakistan people. You know how fucking made up that sounds? Too made up. Although they do live in Africa. They were in Iran, protected by Afghanistan people. And Pakistan people. Pakistani Johnny. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> so made up. But you never know, they are allies in war. Yeah, it's true, they are friends. But it was it was totally by the government. But just like us in America. But do you think that if America was getting bombed, you don't think we would not send like F sixteen or America was getting America? bombed and America was fighting back, it's not America. If America was getting fucking planes ran into their building, and America wasn't doing anything about it, America killed their own people. Pretty much. But then, who are the terrorists? 
What nationality? They're, they, they, it's the thing. Their own people that the government hired to suicide bomb their own plans. The government hired people. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure pilots were told to run, go into those buildings. No, otherwise it would be a purpose. terrorist attack. Yeah, it wasn't a terrorist attack. People, like, Assad bin Laden is a side story to cover up. So it's a cover up. It wasn't a terrorist attack, they just made up the whole Assad and Bin Laden thing. But then why is, why is the Bozo going to prison? No, he got, he got killed. If he's Assad and Bin Laden, I don't, I don't know about him, but all I know is if that he got killed. If he's done nothing wrong, then it was an undeserving murder. Oh, it was all planned. It was all planned. Yeah, just like the assassination of JFK. Oh yeah, he wanted to defund the CIA, and the CIA didn't like that, the world's best criminals, and off comes the back of your head. <laughs> now that was 100% fine. No way it was still not fine. You oh no, the, like, if you decide to say, no more CIA, they will take your head off, if you're the government. And how, how is it that the killer was never found? Explain that. And it was through their own people. If the president was really assassinated by an assassin, do you not think they had, they'd have everyone looking on that case? Literally. So that's you want something true? What? How come? Okay, the giant skeleton in Clash Royale yeah. has no tendons, ligaments, bone, okay, yeah. no tendons, ligaments, meat, but he could still move his body. Yeah, I don't know what any of those are. I'm not like any of the bo you know uh, like uh okay you know all the fucking muscles in your body that helps move your fucking arms fingers toes yeah. all those muscles all those tendons what he doesn't do have any of those so the fact that he can move is outstanding yeah. how do we get back on the controversial talk okay controversial talk what do you want to know more about 911 who what nationality were the people that it was their own people. The government uh, hired their own pilots to crash into buildings. And then upside, the they said, then they said, upside and bin Laden did it. They killed a man because they wanted a cover up story. That is too suspicious. It's. Hey. I don't know how to word it right now. Say that, um, if 9-11 did happen, but how else can I word this story? Basically, if they knew 9-11 was going to happen, then why did they let people on the plane? The more dead bodies, the better. The more it seems like a terrorist attack. Do you think there's a terrorist attack with only the pilot? No. There's, yeah. there's hundreds of people. No, no terrorists. Usually terrorists bring people on the plane with them because they want everyone to die. Yeah. So the more people, the, you know how many famous people were supposed to be on the planes going to like going to hit the pen, uh, going to hit the fucking like so many, perf like so many people were going. So many um famous people were going to get killed. Okay, but please. some, oh, oh, some magical way, they missed their flight. Yeah, like Seth MacFarlane was hung over the past night through the party. Yeah. Which I think is full crap. Not everything is planned by, okay, so just think of it as like this. America likes to defend, it. like, they don't actually defend their people, but... One of the things that they say is they like to defend their country, which they don't because they did their own oh, terrorist yeah. attack on their own country. But if America was getting bombed by terrorists, they would do something. If they were getting bombed by their own peop by their own people, and the government set it up on purpose, they wouldn't do anything about it. You gotta you gotta know that so many people would be like so many people would try to stop 9-11 if 9-11 wasn't planned by america 
But then say 9-11 didn't happen, then what is? If 9-11 didn't happen, 9-11 wouldn't have happened. The Amer like 2003 would have, uh, 2001 would have been as known as the day okay. America lost two trillion dollars. Due to someone uh, being dumb. No, due to s debts. America what? had two trillion. America has over 21 trillion dollars in debt to other China. countries. Yes, literally, majority of their debt goes to that country. I'm not joking. I know. I believe you. Which is just what? Which is just sad. Sad that they decided to kill so many people. Yeah. But they did it because they wanted uh, they wanted to seem as the good guys, and they didn't want to be seen as the people who lost two trillion dollars. At some point, the files are gonna have to come out to the public. Oh. oh Actually, right now, you know what you should be doing? What? You what should you get doing? your own fucking garden. Because the world is about to collapse. I'm not joking. Okay, the world is going to collapse. You wanna know what's gonna happen? World War II. Kinda. And, another fact is that Every, I'm pretty sure you heard me say this, but every 80 years, a new, a new currency is born, and, uh... The last one's thrown behind. And then, who, uh, whoever's next goes next. And then the next 80 years, that happens. You wanna know something interesting? Money is being made. Once money is being made, and it is the world symbol of money, the fucking world collapses. Like NFTs. And no, NFTs point. weren't a world currency. Yeah, the American yeah. dollar bill is the world's currency. Okay, if you were to pay someone in Bitcoin, or you were to pay someone in NFTs, if you were to pay the government in NFTs in Bitcoin, they would send you to federal prison. It's a currency. There'd it's a no currency, price. but you have to pay the government in dollar bills. If not, you will get to sent to federal prison. Yeah. What about in different countries? But you should be growing a garden, because it takes about 10 years for a current... It takes about 10 years for the world to go back. That's why my dad has a whole bunch of fucking food set aside for when the world does collapse. Yay. I'm not joking. I believe you. All the fucking fast food stores are going to be robbed. Everyone is going to be in a panic. Uh, Grow your own garden. Get backup food. Be safe. I'm only okay. saying... I wouldn't say this to some random fucking... I'd say this to you because I care. Yeah. Like, when wouldn't you care? You know what it's gonna go back to? Hell. It's gonna go back to the original. It's going to go back to... Uh, it's going to go back to trading. Probably. No, it is. It's going to go back to trading. Yeah, but trading and then doesn't once it, happen. If it doesn't happen, good. We live for the next 20 fucking years. And yeah. then, whatever happens then, happens. Yeah, but if the government's quote-unquote 50,000, 50 years ahead of us, and they've already experienced this. <laughs> no, not not literally, not literally. They're not literally 50 years ahead of us. But, like, they're advanced in technology. 50 then years ahead. What's the technology war not to say that? Okay, no. No, 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 no. Here, I'll explain this to you. Um, tech. Okay, so. The government knows that the world's gonna collapse. Like, they already know. We already know. Us as the people. My father already knows that the world is going to collapse. Okay. So... No. In these next ten years, I'm not even- I'm not kidding. In the next ten years, the fucking... Like, the government will collapse. 
If you are not ready, you will die. Yay, death. That's, that's another inch. It's so many, like, this world is so fucked, bro. So Wait, many what? secrets held away from us by the government. And the government wants to hold secrets because they want to know something that the people don't know. They always want to know something that someone else doesn't want to know. They're greedy like that. They'll keep information away from you on purpose. Uh, and your point being that we should be running and, run and moving no. to a different No, do not trust the government. Huh. Well, I believe that. The government wants- You know all the fucking funds that your dad is taking from the government? Pretty much. To feed you and your fucking no. like family, stuff like that. Yeah, you want to know something interesting? Oh, God. Once you're an adult, all of those, all that money that he had, uh, that the government gave you, is your debt. Ouch. You and your sister's debt. Yay, debt! I love debt. Huh? I can't be the only one that loves loves debt. It's gonna be a fucking um, all at war eventually, that's all I'm saying. Prepare yourself. Yeah, but then if con conspiracy theorists are right, then shouldn't we be building a ship or a spaceship out of here? Spaceship. We've already built spaceships. On a different planet? But the government doesn't want you to know that the world's going to collapse in 10 years. It's not going to li literally collapse underneath your fucking feet. Like, the fucking oh, no, universe no. isn't just going to do that. But what's going to happen is that uh, okay, the so world is going to go... Anarchy. Anarchy. It, yeah, it's going to basically, like, just a second fuck you. Yeah, anarchy. Yeah, it's just going to do a huge restart. The government doesn't want you to know that because... All the world leaders are, they already know that, so the world leaders are going to live. So they're going to live through the anarchy part, and then they're going to just rehold the world again. And it's going to keep happening every 80 years. And there are new world leaders, yes, there wasn't an every new fucking world leader. That would just be throwing, the, the, world, the world leader would just die, and then there'd be no world leaders. That would just... Nobody wants to know. One of the interesting facts about the government is, um... The reason why I think they like to hide stuff from their people is because they, they want to know something that someone else doesn't know. It's kind of like a kindergartner fight. If... Sure. If one kindergartner knows something... And they're bragging it to the rest of the kindergartners. The rest of the kindergartners are going to want to know what that kindergartner knows. So, they'll keep... So, the government in this situation is going to keep it a secret. They will hide information so they can have it just so you can't. Mm, makes sense. Like That's why the country is so much better. I like the country because it's just further away from the government trying to feed you its information. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like... The government wants you to be filled with all the things. Like, it wants you to be um, it wants you to be filled with knowledge that it wants to give you. It doesn't want you to be self-reliant. It doesn't care about you being self-reliant. You know what the government wants? For you to fail. That's why they're giving you all this information. You should rely off your own knowledge and your own facts. If you rely off your own knowledge and your own facts, and you don't rely off of a fucking news network that is literally the brain-fed and paid by the government, you'll be a smarter person.
Because, you want to know something? I'm not even fucking joking. I'm not even joking when I say this. You know how there's no oxygen in space? Yeah. A fucking astronaut. An astronaut, okay? Uh, the government wants to lie to you. My point is the government wants to lie to you. And this is one of the points. The government wants to lie to you so bad that they'll tell you... Uh, a fucking astronaut said... Fucking outer space... Inner space, actually. Smells like steak. Oh, steak. How come there's no oxygen in space, but an astronaut's gonna tell us it smells like steak? Well, I thought you said we couldn't breathe. Well, how would the astronaut know it smells like steak? If there's no oxygen, they're lying to you. There's multiple accounts to prove that there's no oxygen in space. They're lying to you. The government has said that there is no oxygen in space. That means you cannot breathe, smell, do anything like that. But now, 40 years later, they're going to tell you space smells like fucking steak. You want to know a new headline? Oh, Outer yeah. space, where the government can't reach. Outer space like fucking Uranus. You know Uranus? They want to tell you Uranus smells like farts. <laughs> I'm not even joking, bro. Uh, yeah. depending on who. I'm not gonna talk about the governmental thing anymore, let's just move on from that. Uh, 